Hello everybody, it's George here from Shop2 and today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered campaign which I've been able to play for the last two days. Uh, I finished it today, did my high club, that comes at the end after you've, you know, finished the the campaign. I will show you the ending scene in this video so if you want to avoid spoilers if you've never played it before I'd suggest cutting off by, well, with about a minute to go in the video I will have the uh, ending scene so if you want to avoid spoilers you can cut off there but we are playing is it Gilly in the Mist I think it's called the amazing like Oh, this is like the signature mission from this game and when you think of Call of Duty campaigns this is the mission you think of it's such a good mission it's completely different to all the others you have to be proper stealthy crawling around underneath vehicles going and doing all the sniping of the uh, Zakaev and stuff like that oh it's just such a good mission it's got every aspect of this game rolled into one and it's so so good and the mission that follows it's pretty good as well and you get to play as Captain Price I love Captain Price so, I'm going to talk about what I think of the campaign. So, it feels like COD 4, which I was a bit apprehensive about. I was like, is it going to feel the same? Is it going to be COD 4? Is it going to feel completely different? Because this is built on Advanced Warfare's engine, if you didn't know. And you can kind of tell if you've played a lot of Advanced Warfare, and like me, or if you played a lot of COD 4. You'll be able to tell the similarities between... I can't put fingers... On everything but like some of the gun rendering and stuff like that it does look like advanced warfare but it looks really good overall the one problem I do have is later on in the video you see I play with hit markers on and I feel like the hit markers are a little bit too big in my opinion but that's just me that's just be me nitpicking but overall it feels like Call of Duty 4 which was the main worry I had was it gonna feel different and everything like that and I'm not sure how the multiplayer is because I haven't played that yet. Obviously that comes out on November the 4th so I'll be straight on that. I have to re-download the game which is fantastic. I love downloading 40 gigabytes and spending all night downloading something. It's just so good but no, no, no that doesn't matter. But yeah it feels like COD 4 and some of the gun sounds I know they changed a few of them but they have changed them back to be more similar to the original. I haven't got to try the M40 which was the one I was main like looking forward to trying out to see if it sounds the same. And I have tried out the Desert Eagle and that does sound exactly like it does in COD 4 which is fantastic because I was really annoyed that they changed some of the gun sounds but I'm happy that they've changed it back. They've been making loads of changes to this game. They're making it feel more like the original because in multiplayer you can have like the medals pop up where it's like bloodthirsty double kill stuff like that at the top of the screen you can actually turn that off which is kind of cool and I think Raven Software are doing a fantastic job of making this game what everyone wants they're really listening to what everyone has to say but back to the campaign we'll leave multiplayer for now because we can't play that yet the missions what more can I say this is possibly my favorite Call of Duty campaign it's between this and Modern Warfare 3 I never played through Modern Warfare 2's campaign but the ending of the Modern Warfare 3 campaign is phenomenal I love that it's so so good so that's why I rate that one so highly but uh, the first Call of Duty I ever played was COD 4 so this was like the first thing I did was play through the campaign so it brings back a lot of memories and that was probably back in like 2010 2009 so a few years ago I played through this I haven't really touched it since and I I, oh, I loved playing for it it looks so so good the graphics are fantastic it feels like the original game It's everything that I hoped it would be uh, I didn't want them to like change too much but I wanted it to obviously look a lot up, more up to date and you know more current as you know the graphics were a little bit dated so it is nice that they've changed that but yeah overall it's very very good uh, I do recommend that you guys go get it all you have to do is pre-purchase uh, the copy that I've linked down in the description which means pay for it now and then you will get your code to play the campaign 30 days early so you can play this for 28 days before the game comes out because obviously it's two days after it came out now so you know it's going to be 28 days not 30 but you can play this before the game comes out and then you'll receive your code for uh, the Modern Warfare Remastered in your case with your Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition. I'm so hyped for Infinite Warfare, can't wait to get on the beta in just over a week's time. Oh, I'm so excited for that. So be sure to stick around if you want to see some more Call of Duty videos on the channel. I'll have some sick Infinite Warfare videos coming. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to quickly say what I thought of Modern Warfare Remastered and the fact that I'm happy that it is what it is and they haven't ruined it, which was the main worry I had. I mean, I knew it was going to be a great game because obviously it is a great game. 
but I was just worried that if they were going to ruin it. And I'm happy to report, at least from the campaign's point of view, they haven't ruined it. So my name's been George. Let me know what you think down in the comments section if you've been playing COD 4 Remastered. And uh, I will see you guys in a, another video. As I said, I have some Infinite Warfare beta videos within the next, well, I'll say within the next few days. But in about a week's time, there'll be some nice Infinite Warfare beta gameplay. I'm so excited for that. Be sure to stick around for some other videos on the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more from me and Joe. And I will see you guys later.